Hello there. In this one, I'm going to show you how you remove the Google account lock on a Moto E5 Play model number XT1921. There is a lot of methods out there to do this one, but I can assure you this is the easiest and fastest one. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Only thing you need to do is plug phone in fast boot mode and after you do that you make sure that you have the proper drivers installed okay so for this job we're gonna use UMT tool GSM model okay I already have it here open you can see that the phone is detected so you just go to Motorola QC tab QC tab and you press on new FRP and the process starts I already did that so the program is going to tell you what to do in every step so you only read and do what it says okay now it says to wait for phone to start completely completely and then click ok so you go ahead and do that so we're waiting for phone to boot up and then we click ok and then it says this exactly the same message so we do so too. Phone is rebooting. Okay, almost there. Okay, click OK again. Now phone is rebooting again, but now we have a different message here. Wait for phone to start completely, then allow USB debugging on phone screen, then click OK. So we're going to do that. Mm. Sometimes you may not get the USB debugging request um, on time on your phone. So you make sure you have the proper drivers installed. You can see it in the device manager. And if you do, you can also unplug and plug back the phone in. That all that always help to get the request. Okay, so here is the driver, the proper driver for my phone for the ADB port. Okay, so I'm waiting for phone to boot up and send the request so I can click OK. Okay, phone is up now, and now I'm waiting for the USB debugging request on the phone screen. If you are not getting it, then you can um, replug the phone, and that always help. So I'm going ahead and doing that. Unplug and plug back the phone in. Okay, I'm trying to get another. Uh, for here, um, one second. Okay, I got it. Okay, now I see the um, the USB debugging request. So after you click OK, select always allow from this computer. Then you click OK on the on the UMT tool, and now it's resetting the FRP. Okay, now it says wait for the device to enter in bootloader mode, which is the same fast boot mode, fast boot mode, and then you click OK. I did. Okay, now waiting for phone to enter in fast boot mode again, and then you click OK. I did again, and that's it. FRP lock is gone on this one the easiest way and fastest here you can see the phone is in the home screen no google log at all all right guys thanks for watching please subscribe comment and like and also let us know what kind of videos you like us to do okay until the next one bye